Hey guys, how are you doing? I thought I'd give you a little update on the chafer grub situation in my lawn so you can see how well things have worked. I want to give you a few extra little tips which I didn't cover in the last video. So if you can remember, we had an area which we got in the centre of the lawn and we had this last year as well where it always seems to sort of, it looks like it's drying out um, but it always seems to be under a bit of stress. So what we've done in the last couple of weeks, we've put two applications of turf salve on to try and get on top of things. Now turf salve is quite good and quite effective, but as with it being an organic product, there are no guarantees with any of the products nowadays because of the, um, the fact that most pesticides are now banned. So it's basically a case of keep applying every few days and, and seeing how it gets on. And the more you put it on, the more you're going to kill off and the better your lawn's going to be and the better it'll recover. Once your lawn's under control, you can then start just doing your normal things, mowing regular, fertilising regular, and uh, just keeping on top of things, keeping an eye out. So, before we get into the other tips, I'm just going to show you now. And um, I've been over with the mower this morning just to tidy it up, and I think it's looking pretty good. So, like I say, two applications of turf solve, and since then... We've had an emerald green on um, and we've also put some fertiliser on. That is all we've done. So emerald green wetting agent, this is when it was in the heat of the sun. I don't even want to step on it because I've just mowed it. <laughs> but anyway, so let me find these spots. And they're quite hard to find now. So you can remember we, we dug three squares. So we've got one there where the brown leaf is, you can see that one. And then we have another one there. And then we had another one somewhere around here. But uh, I've just got to one that I can find. But just to show you now, this is an indication of how the grass is now performing. So because of all the rain, and if you can't water, then rain is good but it means that now the turf is pretty solid it's not lifting up like a carpet and that is what you're looking for again nice and firm can't lift it up like a carpet and then we can go to any other random area in here which we didn't previously dig and you can see that it's absolutely solid so what's happening is the grass is, is pushing its roots back down. Now when your lawn is under attack from chafer grubs, if you keep watering it, then you're giving the lawn a chance to keep pushing the roots down. And it needs food and drink to keep it strong and healthy to help fight off the grubs. So it's really important that you keep it watered really well um, while it's under attack, as well as usual watering, because it will help it redevelop those roots that have been eaten from the bottom up. It will help them to grow back down and root in and grab into the soil, which is what you want. So it's getting the grass to a nice healthy state again. There's Betsy Boo. You've only got to mention her name. So yes, um, other things that you can do to keep your grass free from the stresses of grubs. Now these are things that I didn't mention previously, but people have brought it up in the comments. Uh, I'm, I'm aware of all these other things, but I didn't bring them up in the other videos. Just not enough time really, so I was concentrating on the methods which I was using. So the other things that we can do. Now, I'm going to talk about a black sheet first. A lot of people will already know about this, but if you get a nice, thick, black sheet, what you can do is, just before bedtime at night, saturate your lawn, then lay out a thick, black sheet, and put some bricks down, and put it down on top of the affected area. Now, you can repeat this night after night after night. You can move it to other areas. Just keep doing it until your lawn becomes free, or at least very minimal amounts of grubs in the lawn. So you put the black sheet on, the grubs think it's safe, and then what they do is they come up. 
because of the heavy water and they, they struggle in the ground so they come up to escape and they come up because they think it's dark and they think it's night time they're going to be free from the birds so first thing in the morning you come down nice and early whip the sheet off and you should see dozens and dozens if not hundreds of grubs on the ground get yourself a little electric um, wet, and dry, wet and dry vacuum something like that and suck them up get a brush or a rake rake them up or just pick them off keep repeating and you'll tease them all out it's a great way to do it and it's completely organic now to break the cycle something else you can do is buy a pheromone trap now these hang in nearby trees and you want to be putting them around in the trees around May time which is when the grubs emerge in, um, into the chafer beetle and the chafer beetle will typically go and mate in a nearby tree and then the female will come and lay her eggs usually typically mid-April at uh, mid-May that's why they call it the May beetle um, so if you hang these grubs uh, these pheromone traps the pheromone attracts them and they get trapped inside so then they can't mate and then they can't go down and lay so you're minimizing the cycle so I hope that's helped if you've got any questions please pop them down in the comments below I am here to help I have been doing this for 20 years just like some of the other youtubers as well and a lot of what we have all learnt is, is self learnt and you learn more by doing things yourself over the years I had a number of years at a well-known law care company which I got my founding in and I was there for quite a few years and then all the knowledge really came from when I was on my own and picked things up and, and that's how things have gone. So again, this is what you can get guys, once you've got your lawn back under control, get some fertiliser on if it needs it, um, it will just help, it's getting some food back into the ground. So I'm going to bid you farewell, but like I say, any questions, please pop them down below. I'm here to help you with your lawn. So there you go, guys. Any questions? And we'll see you again on the next one. Thanks for watching.